Julio and I'm Goofy. <laughs> well, you know what that song means. It means it's time to go on another adventure with Goofy and me. Come on along. We'll have fun. We'll meet new faces. We'll do things. And we'll go places. Oh, boy, Mick. I can hardly wait to go. Okay, Goofy. It won't be long now. Come along and sing the song and join the jamboree. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Come on, everybody join in. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. You know, when Goofy and I travel, we love to go sightseeing. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to see new places and meet new people. Sometimes it can even lead to adventures, like the time we were in France with Minnie. Remember, Goofy? I sure do. Let's tell them about it, Mick. While Goofy and I tell you the story, you can read along with us in your book. You'll know it's time to turn the page whenever you hear the chimes ring like this. Are you ready? Let's turn to the first page. Here we go. It was springtime in Paris. Goofy, Minnie, and I were taking in the sights. And believe me, there were plenty to see. <laughs> we didn't want to miss anything, so we decided to walk instead of taking a cab. Oh, isn't Paris beautiful? <laughs> it sure is, but look at the bridge over there. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> that isn't a bridge, Goofy. That's the Arch of Triumph, built by Napoleon. Oh, I still say it'd look better with a river going under it. Paris is so pretty. Dum de dee dum dum da dum. Wow! Look at the size of that oil well. <laughs> oh, Goofy, that isn't an oil well. No, that's the Eiffel Tower. It's probably the most famous landmark in Paris. <laughs> well, what do you know? It sure is pretty. All of a sudden, Goofy stopped and pointed. Look, somebody's in trouble. Come on, let's go help them. Where? What do you mean? Over there, in that souvenir shop. The sign in the window says, help wanted. <laughs> no, Goofy, that means they want someone to work for them. You know, to help out in the store. <laughs> Shucks, Mick, I knew that. <laughs> At least, I think I did. Speaking of souvenirs, let's buy a small Eiffel Tower to take home. It'll be just for you, Minnie. Oh, Mickey, thank you. What's wrong, Mick? You've got a funny look on your face. I can't find my wallet. I must have left it in that restaurant this morning. I'd better go check. I'll go with you, Mickey. I'll wait over there on that bench. <laughs> See you in a minute. Oh, Paris is so pretty. Dum -de -de -dum -dum -de -dum. While Minnie and I were gone, a sad-looking man came up to Goofy and asked if he could sit down. <laughs> Why, sure. What's getting you down? <coughs> my health is failing, and I must sell my beloved Eiffel Tower. It would be a great business for someone. Thousands of people visit it each year. As soon as Goofy heard the words Eiffel Tower, his ears perked up. Hey, that tower's what Mickey wanted to buy for Minnie. I'll get it and surprise both of them. <laughs> How much, mister? How much do you have? Well, let's see. Two hundred and two dollars and two cents. Amazing! That's the exact price. Thank you, monsieur. The Eiffel Tower is yours. A few minutes later, Minnie and I were back. Goofy had a big grin on his face. It 
Here we are, Goofy. Mickey found his wallet. I was lucky. The waiter saved it for me. <laughs> I was lucky, too. A nice man just sold me the awful tower. You mean the Eiffel Tower. So you bought a little souvenir tower. Show us. No, I bought the big tower. <laughs> See, I got a deed signed by that Napoleon feller you were talking about. I've heard of people buying the Brooklyn Bridge, but never the Eiffel Tower. Whoa, my granddaddy bought the Brooklyn Bridge. Are you telling me this sort of thing runs in the family? <laughs> yup, that and big feet. Goofy, I've got some bad news for you. That guy had no right to sell you the Eiffel Tower. Oh, come on. It's a free world. No, Goofy. What I mean is that it's not his to sell. It belongs to the city of Paris. Gosh, and I gave him all the money I had. Two hundred and two dollars and two cents. We better report this to the police. At the police station, Goofy told an officer named Inspector Pierre what had happened. The inspector looked pretty upset. This is the fourth time this month that someone has bought the Eiffel Tower. Hey, somebody's got a nice little business going. Yes, my friend, and we would like to put a halt to it. Any idea who's doing it? I'm afraid not. He's a master of disguises, and he always seems to find the gullible people. <laughs> gullible? You mean like that book, Gullible's Travels? Not quite. Gullible means, well, like you, Goofy. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Disguises. Hmm. Inspector, I have an idea how we might trap this character. Please, I need all the help I can get. Maybe if we disguise Goofy, the same guy will approach him again. Bravo, monsieur. It is worth a try. Minnie, Goofy and I headed for the Eiffel Tower. But this time, Goofy looked a little different. Gee, Goofy, you look like you just flew in from Texas. Not even your granddaddy would recognize you in that outfit. Yup, I hardly know myself. Now tell me again what I'm supposed to do. You stand there taking pictures of the Eiffel Tower, and we'll hope that our friend shows up. You got it, Mick. Minnie and I watched from behind the bushes. Sure enough, our man wandered by, dressed in another disguise. Ah, monsieur, I see you like the Eiffel Tower. Sure do, partner. It's a real eyeful. <laughs> Get it? Eiffel? Eiffel? <laughs> Very amusing. Yes, yeah, sorry. I think that tower would make a good souvenir. I'd like to take it back to my spread in Texas. Even from behind the bushes, Minnie and I could see the man's eyes light up. Monsieur, you are in luck. I am chairman of a committee to tear down the tower. Tear it down? Why, that'd be a crying shame. If you would like to purchase it intact, that would be even better. How much? One thousand dollars, plus shipping charges. Goofy stole him, just like we planned. Sounds like a bargain. But I don't have that much cash on me. I'll have to go get some. That is no problem at all, monsieur. Meet you back here at, say, five o'clock. Yes, of course. A man wandered off a little ways, and Goofy ducked behind the bushes. <laughs> well, how'd I do? Goofy, you were great. For a minute there, I 
almost thought you were from Texas. Oh, now, Mick, you know better than that. Now what do we do, Mickey? We follow our man, but we've got to make sure he doesn't see us. Goofy took off his disguise, and we took up the chase. Chase? Stroll is more like it. <laughs> yeah, I guess he did stop a few times. <laughs> I'll say. That feller must have stopped at every food shop in Paris. <laughs> he bought enough to feed an army. By the time he got home, my feet were killing me. And I was starved. <laughs> to call the police, while Goofy and I kept an eye on the house. Gosh, Mick, it looks kind of run down. With the money he's made selling that tower, you'd think he could live in a nicer part of town. Let's sneak up and look in the window. Quiet now. Hey, there's somebody in there with them. A whole lot of somebodies. Hush, that must be his family. No wonder he bought so much food. You know, Mick, if he didn't take my money, I might almost feel sorry for him. While his children ate, the man went into the other room. You know, he's been gone kind of a long time. I wonder where he went. I am right behind you, monsieur. I saw you snooping through the window. Now, who are you and what do you want? Don't you recognize me, mister? Goofy, shh. Oh, no! It's you! Just then, Minnie came running up with Inspector Pierre. That's him, Inspector. Boy, Inspector, are we glad to see you. <laughs> yeah, I might have bought the Eiffel Tower for the third time. <laughs> the third time? That's right, partner. Recognize my Texas drawl. I've been tricked. I wouldn't talk, mister. And now, monsieur, come with me. Please, don't put me in jail. I'm just a poor, starving actor with many children to feed. An actor? So that's why you had so many disguises. Yes, I thought this would be a good way of using my costumes, but I see now I was wrong. Gee, Inspector, this fellow really seems down on his luck. That's just what I was thinking. He was just trying to get some money, even if he had a funny way of doing it. Say, I have an idea. Remember the help wanted sign we saw this morning? Yeah, at the souvenir store. Well, maybe this guy could get a job there. I could do it. If I were working, I could pay back the gentleman here. That's fine for me, but what about the other people you stole from? I'll give them back a little each week until it's all paid. What do you say, Inspector? I think we can work something out. Well, I guess that just about wraps things up. No, Mick. You forgot one little thing. What's that, Goofy? Food! I'm hungry! <laughs> the next morning, I was so tired I overslept. When I woke up, Goofy was just coming in the door. Hi, Mick. I've been out sightseeing. You were up early. Yeah, <laughs> I bought something. What is it this time? The Notre Dame Cathedral. Goofy, how could you do that after all we've been through? <laughs> Gosh, Mick, it was easy. See, here it is. <laughs> it's only a souvenir. <laughs> yup, I bought it from our man at the souvenir store. Goofy, you had me scared. I thought you bought the real thing. Oh, come on, Mick. <laughs> do you think I'd do a dumb thing like that? <laughs> you know, Mick, I'm sure glad that fellow didn't have to go to jail. Me too, Goofy. I think he was just a nice man who got in some trouble. I keep wondering. 
Of all the people at the Eiffel Tower, why do you think he picked me? I guess it's because you look so... so... Well, let's just say that if I had to pick somebody out of a crowd, I'd pick you every time. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mick. You're welcome, Goofy. And now, until next time... Well, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See ya real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M O. Bye-bye. See, See you, you next, next time. time.